Hi, Ruben. Uh, many thanks for coming on my channel for this interview. Um, I've been listening to Vaughan Radio or Baugan Radio, as you say in Spanish, uh, for a couple of weeks after one of my students uh, told me about it. So I'm looking forward to, to hearing more about what you do and how it has become uh, so successful. Yeah, well, um, my name is Ruben Palomero and I am in charge of the, the content department at Bone Systems or Vaughan Systems. Uh, well, um, in our company, in Bone, you have the possibility to, to improve uh, English in different ways. And one of them is through Bone Radio, where mm -hmm. you can listen to uh, people speaking English uh, 24 hours per day. And that's great in order to improve your English, something very, very important for everybody in these days. And obviously for, for Spaniards that uh, we are improving our uh, English level. But um, well, I, I think we have a lot of work to do yet in order to have a, a good English level. Mm -hmm. And what was your reason for joining um, the radio? What's your what's your background then? What what? Um, What's your area of expertise? Did you study like media in university or? No, well, in fact, I am. The, um, I have a degree in uh, advertising and public affairs, right. but uh, really, I am a manager of the department. In our department, we only we create all the content for the company. Not so, not only radio, but also mm -hmm. television. We have different uh, programs and even our own channel, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, publishing too. In fact, we right. have more than 500 books, uh, all of them uh, helping people to, to improve uh, their English. And uh, even we prepare a specific content for different companies. So, uh, well, in fact, uh, we do a lot of different ways because uh, we have to find our audit, our goal in uh, the companies to, to find all the different, different ways in order to improve uh, the English. Right, I see. So can you explain to the viewers then what is Vaughan Radio? What's it about? So is it just like one program or is it a combination of... Yeah, of, Vaughan Radio um, is, is a channel. 24 channel. hours, is, and I think around 12 of them, they are direct programs in order to improve English. And you're going to find different uh, programs for high, for, for beginners, for intermediate, for advanced, in order to... Um, teach English in a funny way because obviously yeah. when you are when you want to, to improve uh, your English you want to speak a second language especially when you are an adult you need to look for something fun <laughs> because if you don't if you yeah. Yeah. because it's very common to give up um, this um, this um, goal it's very difficult for people and it's very important for them obviously to look for something funny who helps yeah. you to, to improve it. I've noticed as well, because I'm um, a native English teacher, I teach English. Some adults are very, very embarrassed. They are afraid to make mistakes, you know, so. Yeah, um, well, yeah. that's very common. It's a very, very important problem, especially in Spain. I don't know in another country, but in Spain, uh, it's very common to laugh at people when yes. they are trying to speak yeah. English or another yeah. language. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. It, you are not very confident on your, yeah. yourself. Of yourself, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe you are going to have that problem and you are going to prefer to speak English or even um, yeah. to have a very strong accent instead of yeah. trying to change it or in, in, in trying to improve your, your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. uh, you try to do that in a, in a way that trying to avoid that no one to laugh at you. Something yeah. like that. Stay, I, al I always no. say to my students that the only <laughs> way to improve, you have to make mistakes. You have to almost embrace, accept mistakes because it's the only way, isn't it? It's the only way to um, to improve and to get better. Exactly. For example, I know when I speak in English, I make mistakes, but it's not a problem because I oh. can say whatever I want to say. You can and convey can your meaning. You can convey what you want to say. And I understand you 100%. Exactly. No problem. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. So was it created then because um, in Spain, I know that um, I've read that it's, Spain has like the lowest level of, of English in Europe. So was that one of the main reasons why the, the channel was yeah. created to, to, you know, to solve this 
you know this this problem because you know you have the tourism industry and you know yeah. English is very important for for Spain. Yes, um, mm. I think it's a problem that uh, usually um, has the big countries. For example, you live right. in a in a small country or a country who needs to trade with another country, it's easier to find people who knows how to speak uh, yeah. a bit about the language. But this is the same. Uh, you can you're going to um, you're going to find it in in France or in, even in Germany. Um, um, so, however, you are not going to find it in Netherlands or Portugal because they are countries, more countries that need to trade. And if yeah, you need to trade, it's easier to use, improve your English. Yeah. For example, in Spain, there is a lot of uh, question. For example, um, we had a lot of gear in a, in, a, in, in, a, in a government who tried to translate everything uh, you are going to watch on TV, for example, in the cinema. So uh, right. we didn't see nothing in original version. Ah, like the dubbing, yeah, it was dubbing. Exactly. Was dubbing. So um, mm -hmm. obviously, if you don't have that uh, uh, possibility, you are going to have a, a, a worse English level. For example, in my case, my first words in English were, were when I was 12 years old. And they taught, taught me English like um, in a grammar way, we learn the yeah, grammar. grammatical way, yeah, very, that's like the traditional way, isn't it? And I hear all the time that my students say that they've spent like three years in the academy and they, they don't speak, you know, they know how to conjugate, yeah, maybe like to be yeah. or, you know, some exactly. irregular verbs, but they, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't speak. The, they, for example, the regular verbs, the way we learn it is, say, is, is saying, come, come, come. In instead of calm, I was, we yeah, didn't do yeah, yeah. Yeah. so it was very yeah. difficult for us. So I had very bad listening. I I didn't have any fluency, and it was very difficult when you're an adult to no. to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it's because when you are a kid, you are from zero to twelve. You are a, your brain is ready for learning these languages, but like they are not ready. Yeah, it's exactly. like a sponge. You, you can just absorb the information. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and now, and now, obviously, um, I've been. I had the. the I'm very, I was very, very lucky because I was working at Bone System. I was creating content, and I had a lot of um, situation in which I had to speak English. And the methodology is very, very, very good, and I love it. Yeah. And the way I can have a conversation with you in English right now. But obviously, if I had the the tools that uh, I think the young people now the young people now they have, uh, obviously my English would be better. And mm -hmm. and I think in the next year the the Spanish English level is going to be higher than the past. Obviously. Yeah, I think that's a good point. You know, we we have so many tools to to use. You know, we have like uh, Vaughn Radio. You can watch films or movies. So I always say to my students. There is no excuse. You have podcasts as well. So there's like an abundance of material that we can use to improve. And it's it's readily available in your case with your um, with Vaughn Radio. It's 24 hours. So there's no excuse at any time of the day. You can watch it or listen to it. Sorry. And um, and learn and have fun at the same time. That's what it's uh, about. That's what I think. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. You have yeah. a lot of possibilities uh, because the most important thing is to find what uh, content uh, mm -hmm. you prefer. And then you have to go on and start. Obviously, you are an adult. You are going to make an effort because there yes. is a lot of people trying to sell magic uh, solutions for, for I've, this I've, one. I've, I've, I've seen those. I've seen a lot of those online. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, have, you have to study. You have to be in study a lot. Um, you are going a lot of tools. You can use it, but now you have to make an effort, and you are going to be a lot of, a long time uh, in order to to speak English. Yeah, it's like a marathon, isn't it? It's like it's not a hundred meter sprint or a hundred meter race. You have to dedicate time, and you will encounter problems and difficulties. But that's part of the of the journey, you know. Yeah, My, yeah. Same with me with Spanish. You know, um, I've been learning for for six years. I still make mistakes, but. I don't I don't care about it. I don't worry. You know, I just have 
Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. And when um, um, English, the English people uh, are um, hearing to you speaking their language, they are, they are thinking, oh my God, this guy is speaking my language. They are not thinking about, oh, what is the pronunciation is awful, or, or oh my God, oh. what struck a strong accent, no? Oh, no, I always say that to my students because they say, Sonny, I want to sound perfect. I want to have the perfect pronunciation. I say, don't worry about that. The main thing is that you can be understood and they can understand you. Later, yes, if you want to perfect, you can. But I say to my students not to, not to obsess too much about sounding like, you know, the Queen or like having like the Queen's English because... In the UK, as you as you know, I suppose we have so many different dialects anyway, like the Welsh, English, um, yeah, English, Irish, Scottish. So it's not a it's not a big problem um, in the beginning. You know, if you want to perfect, you can do it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so, and finally, uh, yeah. we have the same situation. There are very different, mm. different accents. It's not the same the south of Spain than than the north. Totally different. And, yeah. Yeah, you can speak whatever, and it yeah. doesn't. And the most important thing is. If you are able to communicate everything yes. you want, I agree. Yeah, I totally agree. So, talking about your program on on Vaughan Radio, uh, what is it about? Can you explain to the, yeah. the viewers? I have a, yeah, I have a program called Speaking in Football and Why. Okay, in 2017, I launched to the market a book with uh, Fernando Torres, a mm. Chelsea and Liverpool football player. Uh, yeah, yeah, very famous. Yeah, very, very famous. famous football yeah. <laughs> and we launched the book uh, Speak Football in order to teach English, teach English through football. Why? Because right. if you are going to be studying English a lot of time, the best way is to do it through your hobby, your something you like it. And if you love football, yeah. it's very easy to improve your your level because you are going to do something fun and you're going you're going to be enjoying what everything we do and now we have a program in the radio uh, called Speak, speaking football and what we do we do is for spanish people in order to improve english is for english people if they want to improve their their spanish I've, we... I've i've watched your program to improve my <laughs> spanish by the way i just want to say that yeah i've used it yeah so it's it works That's both ways <laughs> yeah. no <laughs> what we do we, do, we speak about different way we teach we speak in both languages i do it with my my college Tommy Hay from Scotland, and uh, we speak, speak English and Spanish and translate things and we talk about how we say in different languages and it's very fun because you discover the difference between both languages whilst you are improving uh, uh, the other language. It, it's an amazing concept. What I like about it is, yeah, so the, a Spaniard can listen to it in English and then double check to see if he or she understood when you explain in Spanish. So it's like, it, it's, a, it's a perfect model. You know, it really works. I, I love it. I really love it so much. Um, and, it's, and it's very fun. If you like it, um, it's a great way in order to, to improve it. And you, you have to look for your hobby and try to learn it, your, try to try to learn languages through them. Yeah, yeah, totally. So how often, um, should students listen to Vaughan Radio in order to improve their English? Should it be every day? Do you recommend it like um, one hour a day or? Uh... I recommend you do um, whenever you you can, whenever Maybe you can. can. But mm. obviously, if you want to feel that you are improving your language, especially your listening, because the radio is perfect for improving your listening, you have to be around 4,000 4, hours. 4,000 hours, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's something we have with calculating with a lot of gear working at, at, at this sector. And it's necessary around that. Um, obviously, you can be hearing that when you are driving, when you are um, cooking, when you are walking, whenever. Even when you are not paying attention, it's great to do it because the, the English is, uh, is around your ear. And that's yeah, great. Pass you, you can listen to it passively, right? Passive listening. Yeah, so you yeah. don't need to be, it's better if you can concentrate, but you don't have to be. You can just, uh, yeah, uh, one of my students the other day, she said that she was listening to Vaughn Radio whilst cooking. She, she told me that, you know, and she learned a lot without like in, in a um, subconscious way. She didn't even realize that she was picking up the, the language, the idioms, yeah. the expression. So. There is a film not very popular uh, called uh, Warrior Number no. 13 with Ant Antonio Banderas, for example. 
And in that film, uh, this, guy, this guy is a guy who is with a lot of warriors and they are talking a lot of language. And at the beginning of the, the, the film, they are talking, but uh, the, the, the watcher can see anything. They say, blah, 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 blah. But step by step, he start to recognize words mm -hmm. and then sentences. In an, and in a moment, this guy is able uh, to understand what they are saying. It's something yeah. similar. For example, when I arrived to bone system, I wasn't able to say anything. And I, I can understand almost anything neither. And uh, step by step, when you are listening to speak English, one day I recognize a word, another day a sentence, and step by step, and with a lot of a lot of hours, one day you are understanding everything they are saying. Yeah. Why? What did we do? Only to spawn my ear to the language. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's it's the same way the children learn, isn't it? Yeah. They learn in the same way because they are exposed to all types of vocabulary. It's not like, okay, today you are only going to listen to A1 material or B1 material. It's it's everything. And I think your channel is like that. You speak about everything, a range of, of topics. And it's not like, um, it's not rigid. It's like, okay, today it's only going to be A1. It's 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 just how the language is spoken. On a daily yeah. basis, and that's why, yeah, it's um, it's so beneficial. So, in terms of English, how has it helped your career being able to converse and to speak English, uh, speak English well? Obviously, uh, it's very important to speak English because if you want to 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 grow to grow up in your career, you need to speak English. And obviously, I have a big problem when I finish my finish my degree. And I decided to go to London. I was living there six months where I discovered I wasn't able to understand anything. I didn't was able to speak neither. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's com this is it common. This is a common thing that I hear from my students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it's obviously very important because if you want to have a responsibility charge in any company, you need to speak English because obviously uh, now if you have an international meeting, you are going to speak speak English always, except if you are speaking with uh, uh, Latin America. But in the rest of the meetings, you are going to speak English. If you have an, an event outside, you are going to speak English. And it's very important, it's very important to solve that situation before having 22 and 23 years old, when you are going to, uh, to incorporate in the business uh, market. And right. obviously, the English has helped me a lot, but uh, because it was very necessary for me, because I am working in a in a company who teach English, and I have a lot of meetings in English. And at the beginning, it was really really tough in order to understand everything. But well, um, that's something I have to 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 get, and that's what I did. I study. I use a lot of books. Uh, we sell. We use the methodology. By the way. We are going to launch next year the methodology in um, United Kingdom for in order to 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 learn French, Germany, and Spanish. As wow! Well. It's breaking news because ah, breaking we news, yeah. News. <laughs> but we are working in that project. And that's that's, that's a part that two for us. I think we will do a part two on that on that methodology when it launches. Yeah, no, yeah. we are going to to create specific books for for British. In order to improve French, German, and Spanish, and we are going to to sell at bookstore there. Great! I wish you the best of. I wish you a lot of success in in that journey. Yeah, because we, we 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 also like in the UK. Um, it's not common for us to, to to speak other languages because we get lazy. It's like okay, everybody speaks English, so in a strange way, you know, we can kind of. Um, there's a disadvantage as well because we are not very good at languages in general. So that yeah. that system will, you know, will definitely help us as well. Mm. Yeah, for that, I mean, in, in because uh, United Kingdom is a big country. It's the same as yeah. Spain. We didn't mm. need to do it, and obviously they think, well, everybody is going to speak English. But uh, I'm sure in the future, if you had, you know, another language is going to be a um, advantage. Advantage. Ab ab absolutely. I always say that, you know, like it's the best thing that I've ever done is to learn Spanish because when you learn another language, you become more aware of your own languages and like the, the nuances or the, the slight differences, you know, and I can explain yeah. things better because 
um, I've been through that process, you know, like with, yeah. um, for example, uh, yeah. the, ver yeah. Mm -hmm. And forever, you need to look for information on internet. You are going to, to find the double. You yes. are going to have the positive, find double things. You are going to be more, uh, you're going to be uh, less um, walls in order yeah. to find new things. I think it's very important. And obviously, yeah. If, yeah. Um, the, I think the future is going to be necessary even for British people. Huh? I, I believe so, yeah. Well, what I say in this statement may be um, controversial, but I, I believe in this. I think that if you want to teach English as a second language, you have to to know at least one other language. Because I say, like in my case, I teach English. So I mm -hmm. understand the process. I understand the difficulties that the students face. But if I only speak English, then how can I teach other people? Because I've not gone through their you know, the, the yeah. hardship and the difficulty. So that's that's my thing. I think that and it doesn't need to be B2, C1, just even to conversational level. Then you will appreciate and be more um, empathetic to the students. That That's that's yeah. my um, idea. That's I completely I'm, agree with you. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, and um, my final question then is what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about learning English? Okay, I think the, the first advice is you they, they need to understand, they need to understand that if you're an adult and you want to, to speak a second language, you are going to work, you are going to make an effort. Yes. And then look for something fun for you. If you love uh, uh, to, to travel or you love basketball or you love whatever, try to focus on the way you are learning it through this, this um, this uh, concept and look for thing reading English that thing you love basketball read the news of basketball if you love to travel and um, lo look for things about where you are going to go in English and always been doing this the two the two legs the two more important legs in order to improve a language the first one is listening and you are going to get that if you spawn your ear to the English to English mm -hmm. and the second one is the fluency and you are going to get it if you have the possibility to speak in in that way for example yeah. in what yeah. the materials I create we prepare a methodology in order to improve that very well but to try try to look for something fun for you because it's going to be very hard and if you are going to think about to give up and you are doing something fun you are not going to do however if you are suffering, you are going to decide to give up. And when you do that, you are going to to, to come back to the, yeah. to the beginning of the, of the trip. So uh, look yeah. for something fun for you and go on. Uh, great. Thanks, Ruben. So I think we can leave it there. I'm going to leave all contact details for your show and also your book in the description. So if anybody's interested, they can reach out to you and, and get in touch. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, the part two in the in the near future. We can do we can do one of those. Thank you very okay. much, Sunny. My pleasure okay. to be here with you. It was very uh, fun and always uh, we're in contact. And whatever you need, um, I'm here in Spain trying to to teach English to Spaniards. Ah, great! Keep up the good work and best of luck. Okay, bye for now. Bye, bye, bye. bye.